Welcome to this video on cell structure. Today we're going to have a look at the nucleus of the cell. Now you'll find a nucleus within most cells of the human body and in the majority of cases there is just the one nucleus present. There are a few exceptions however. Red blood cells for example have no nucleus and so are known as anucleate. At the other end of the spectrum, cells known as osteoclasts, which are involved in the remodelling of bone tissue, can have many nuclei and so are known as multinucleate. Now in terms of function, the nucleus is all about control and it dictates a lot of the functions and processes that go on within the cell. It's filled with DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid, which is a complex molecule that determines the vast majority of the characteristics that determine what kind of cell the cell will differentiate to be but also the information that dictates what kind of organism it is a part of. The DNA within your nuclei is normally packed tightly into structures called chromosomes which exist in pairs. In most normal cells there are 23 pairs of chromosomes, or 46 in total. And the chromosomes are responsible for storing DNA and processing all of that key information into new cells through the process of cell division. The DNA is replicated and then the cell splits into two identical copies of one another. Normal cell replication occurs via the process of mitosis, which generates two identical cells, each with 46 chromosomes in their nuclei. These cells are known as diploid cells because they have a full complement of chromosomes in pairs. The process of gamete formation, however, that is sperm or ova, occurs via the process of meiosis, which begins with two identical cells, but then quickly splits into four cells with 23 chromosomes in each. These cells are called haploid cells as they have half the number of chromosomes in diploid cells. The nucleus is also very important for the process of protein synthesis as the DNA is transcribed and encodes the production of amino acid chains which eventually form proteins and these can be involved in not only the development and maintenance of cell structure but also as cell markers, hormones and many other molecules that the cell needs to fulfil its function. And all of this is coordinated and made possible by the nucleus.